The final setting available inside of our create mode in the train toolkit is normalize. And the purpose of normalize is, well, at its full strength, is going to take the highest point of your terrain and drag it up to the maximum altitude as set by your uh, terrain resolution. And it'll take the lowest point and drag it all the way down to zero. And then stretch everything else in between out accordingly. Now, you can scale this down, but before I even worry about that, let's just go ahead and apply it as is to the terrain you see here. Now, boom, there you go. Now, this particular piece of terrain, if we take a look at the set resolution, has a terrain height of only 100 meters. So now, the highest point on it goes up to 100. The lowest point now sits at zero. But we're not limited to that. If we want, we can take the minimum height and push it up in a, as a percentage value up to, say, 50%. We can take the maximum height and put it at 60% of the overall value. And now all of our values will be normalized between 50 and 60 feet. Or I'm sorry, meters. meters thank you. Yeah. You know, one of those values. So now if we click, everything gets squashed. You'll see that everything did move up, too. Right. So we're, we're now in between that little 10-meter range of 50 to 60 meters, like so. At the bottom, of course, you have your blend value. So if you want to control how much of that calculation gets applied you can do that here, and as I continue to apply it, you can actually see what's happening. We're scaling the terrain down into that little 10 meter space between 50 and 60 meters. So that is a look at the normalized settings found within the create mode, and that will wrap things up for this video. Thanks for watching.